one there's this interesting phenomenon and uh, Kotaku actually has a, a story about it um where and I thought there was just something cuz I remember seeing it last time it was at AEW when they were in Pittsburgh you know like a year and a half ago right of yeah right am I got my math right yeah something like that pre covid and there's somebody like in front of us had all of these like video game things like like so and so games better than final fantasy and 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 things like that right but one thing i specifically saw was hashtag free uh mvc2 which i know is marvel versus capcom 2 a really classic um arcade game uh fighter game with marvel and capcom guys um of course there's been uh, three and there's a fourth one that came out and those ones were 3d and everything but but marvel versus capcom 2 was kind of the pinnacle of that uh team-based uh, 2D sprite based street fighter uh, escalating <laughs> over the top uh, uh, fighters, right? So it turns out, like, because I this story came across my feed and I was like, okay, so that's what that's about. Um, so apparently it, it, it's an article over a polygon called the Quest to Save Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And it, it's kind of become, it, 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 you know, it gets into. Um, why you can't get a decent copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 these days. Uh, I personally have, I have a digital copy on my Xbox 360, and I have a couple of 360s around with all my digital stuff on it that haven't, you know, come over to the Xbox One. And this is one of those games that I like to play on it. But apparently, uh, obviously, Disney purchased, you know, with the Disney purchase and licenses going away, Capcom no longer has uh, licenses for, uh, for for Marvel games anymore. There goes, you know, you know, having that uh, a, a re-release easily accessible or, or on digital stores or anything like that. Because a, a lot of times, if you look at old Marvel games like Deadpool, I, lo- I love the old uh, Xbox, uh, I'm sorry, X-Men Origins uh, Wolverine game. Uh, not really based on the movie that was very bad, but a really good game. But you can't get those digitally because... Again, you know, the the licenses have lapsed and they actually pull those from the store. Just like I can't find some of the old Ninja Turtles games because those licenses have been purchased and resold uh, across video game uh, manufacturers here and there. So there's actually a reach out and campaign for that. Um, I think it has not been available digitally since 2012. And if you wanted to get it, you'd have to find like a disc based version, which are uh, sounds like they're soaring in price. Um, so it's just one of those interesting things where um you know these games kind of get uh lost in like a purgatory you know not not for lack of caring but, you know, or maybe it is lack of caring on the company side so actually digital eclipse and this is a and this is a company that i'm aware of i mean i see on a lot of uh of those games um um they, they listed a few here but uh particularly i think some of the uh the the mega man uh classic collections um you know uh, you know a lot of the conversion a lot of the uh, neo geo uh, fighting games um, come through Digital Eclipse. They really just are good about kind of a, a, a re... I want to say remastering, but kind of repackaging old games for newer systems. They've done stuff like Samurai Showdown, Super Street Fighter Turbo HD re- Remix, uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, those kinds of games, Mega, Mega Man Legacy Collection. Um, so they have an in about they want to... And obviously, they've worked with Capcom before. Uh, so they're attempting to um, get something together for a re-release. But uh, again, still, uh, it's up to, as they said, it is up to uh, Disney and Capcom, I believe, in this article. So just a, a, a good look at, you know, what does it take to kind of bring back a beloved uh, game franchise like this? You know, I'd love to see an easily downloaded version or even just an updated version of the uh, uh, 360 that I can bring over to my Xbox One or something like that or whatever. I mean, I think it'd be a great game to be playing on a Switch or, you know, or, or something like that. I remember there, there's a, the, I can't play it anymore because it's not uh, updated for the newest I- iOSs. But at one point, I think I purchased a version of this game on iOS. Um, so um, just, a, yeah, interesting look into that kind of thing that happens. I don't know, are you, are you guys, did you guys play Marvel Capcom at any point here? I, I didn't. I was kind of under the same thing is you wanting to play it but not really being able to get it Mm -hmm. so i got whatever the i have the xbox one version but it's not marvel versus capcom 2 it's one of the later versions it's like it's three it's it's not it it's not as good yeah three it's i mean it's good it's the 3d version it's like real crazy 
thing. Meanwhile, I'm giving they're giving me free Neo Neo Geo fighting games like left and right on uh, go, uh, Game pa- or uh, uh, Xbox Gold these days. <laughs> so that are like 360 um, um, port overs. It's, it's it's interesting to see see what happens with that. Of course, you know, of course, this is some copyright issue. What about you, Kitty? Are you, do you 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 dive into the Marvel Capcom stuff? Uh, earlier ones, not the anything newer <laughs> okay well i think this might have been around that era then right <laughs> so yeah yeah that, that's yeah this is the artwork this is the, yeah the stuff that i yeah i, I yeah. meant <laughs> it, it, it's interesting because this kind of thing doesn't just happen in video games i remember that because i was looking i'm a huge kevin smith fan and i was i was going through and grabbing some of the digital copies mm-hmm. of some of my favorites and the one thing you can't purchase digitally is Dogma. Mm-hmm. So if you're familiar with his work, um, you can't get a legit a run out to Amazon, run out to Apple, wherever, and get your favorite digital download of a movie because of back when the film was made, Disney owned Miramax. Mm-hmm. Disney got a bunch of blowback. Mm-hmm. Because of the because of the religious Catholic religion. portrayal and yeah the the, the religious the implications. So Disney let the Weinstein's buy the movie direct, even though Lionsgate released the movie theatrically. Sony oh, no. did the home video. Yeah, but digital didn't digital didn't exist back then. Yeah, and because the Weinstein's are in all kinds of lawsuit trouble and you know all kinds of problems, it's you're you're probably never going to see dogma be able to come out that's a shame um, digitally yeah is there even a blu-ray for it i was trying to find it here in the in the I, list here like um hold on i second. would be surprised I, there's dvd there is a blue but there is a blu-ray there's but blue is blu-ray? it is going for 199 dollars on uh on uh, we can get the vhs for starting at seven seven dollars and 49 cents um yeah it's, it's a european one it's an import so i'm not even sure if there's a proper dvd or a blu-ray release in the, in this country there probably wasn't in if you think about it, going back to the licensing and just the timing if this was all in the late 90s mm-hmm. blu-ray really wasn't it wasn't there yet yeah wasn't there, i mean dvds were were new in the late in the mid to late 90s like just hitting this movie came out in 1999 uh-huh. Um and yeah, it just kind of found itself in this uh, weird purgatory of 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 moviness. So wow, wow, canceled sequel. That's interesting. Um, they did put it on Blu-ray in March of two thousand eight. Uh, unavailable stream due to the film rights being owned personally by Bob and Harvey Weinstein. Ah, oh, geez. And also out of print on home media. That's why some of those prices were getting ridiculous if you're looking for it. So, man, that sucks. Yeah. I, I'm having a similar issue. I, I grabbed um, the Cowboy Bebop series um, not too long ago on sale. And I've been really kind of jonesing to watch them. Now, I own the movie on DVD. So it's not like I, I can't dust off a disc and, and, and do that. But still, like you know, you, you don't want the digital, right? <laughs> so mm-hmm. it's like I, I just recently re- rebought the original Transformers movie on digital just so I could. Uh, so, um, but uh, but you know, we still like you know a beloved you know franchise like that. You know, you want to part of your collection on, on all formats and easily accessible and saying, "Hey G or Hey A, uh, uh, go play this thing for you," right? Because we live in twenty twenty one. 